We're live. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Got there. <laughs> A few technical difficulties, but we got there. <laughs> the amazing thing and the hard thing about technology but thank you for joining me Chris I am so excited to have you as um, one of the facilitators for the event um, the quantum event I thought it might be a really great opportunity for you to um, have a chat about who you are what you do how you work oh. how your offerings help people um, I just thought this would be a really great off, great time for people to be able to jump in and ask any questions they might have because you are quite unique in your offering and the way you do things, which, which is part of why I love working with you. Yeah. You're able to really move through some stuff. So um, yeah. I'll keep an eye on Facebook and see if anybody has any questions, but why don't you take it away? Sure. Absolutely. Thanks, Lyndall. Yeah. Well, essentially I've been working in the field of energy healing for about 20 years. And um, in the last 10 years, I've been incorporating coaching into that and really helping people to shift out of their trauma patterns and their belief patterns that just keep looping and keeping them experiencing the same sensations, the same emotions and the same reflections back from life, the same experiences. So it seems that from all the work that I've done with myself through experiencing my own anxiety and my own um, existential crisis and all kinds of things in my own life um, and all the, the, the different modalities I've done and the, and the introspection I've done, I've, I've started being able to connect with what the core patterns are that are blocking people and helping people to unblock what those patterns are so that they can connect with their body in a new way, feel more energy, feel more flow, feel more passion, because I'm passionate about the, that, that people can be so much more alive, that we don't have to um, stay stuck in our conditioning and dumbed down. We can come into a place of alignment where the life energy flows differently through our body and brings us different experiences. So that, that's it in a nutshell. Yeah, I love it. And I, I, I've been working with you now for... I don't know, a good few months for this yeah. year. And yeah. I have definitely, like, I just love how intuitive you are and, you know, that things that are really relevant for what's going on for me will just sort of pop up and, you know, yeah. just kind of move through that and shift through that a lot faster than, um, you know, just sit, having it sit stagnant in your body and feeling like rubbish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What I, I love about the way that you work is that um, it's very unique. I've never experienced a um, energy healer like you before or the way that you work. Because um, mm. can you talk to me or talk to us a little bit about the different modalities that you do use and the way that you perform your healing? Sure. Uh, I mean, it started... Well, the first modality I main major modality I did was remedial massage. So that was a two year course, and that kind of got me connected to the body element. It wasn't a in course about intuition, but it really just helped me to ground with the body element. Then from there, I, um, you know, I've studied all kinds of things from a process called magnetic mind, access consciousness, you know, Reiki. I've done a lot of stuff in the area of sound healing. Um, and a lot of other modalities. Say it again. Sound and frequency. So yeah, how does sound and frequency help you? Yeah, and absolutely. And and sound is one of the key components uh, working with sound and frequency in the work that I do. And um, essentially, the way I see it and experience it. And if you hear any um, teachers, especially from the East, but they'll, they'll talk about that the body is essentially made up of sound vibrations or made up of vibrations. And when something is out of whack physically or emotionally in the body, it changes its frequency. So there's a healthy frequency for the liver, for the kidneys. When you're in a state of emotional balance, you'll often hear people saying, oh, I feel like I'm humming. I was just humming all day because literally they are humming because they're in that state of ease and contentment or well-being 
So the sound essentially goes to the place, places in the body where, or in the nervous system where the energy has become stuck, contracted around some kind of belief or you could say all the way up to a trauma yeah. and helps to basically go in there and with the belief clearing processes that I use and a lot of that is, 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 is from different modalities and a lot of it is channeled in the moment for what that person needs. Yeah. It helps to unknot and almost melt that pattern so that the energy can throw, flow freely in that area again. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's, that's, um, yeah. and yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, like, what I've noticed in people mm. is that when, um, like, dis-ease uh, is that whole space of uh, the body not moving and flowing properly. And it kind of exactly. Dis-ease or disease in, in the body um, because it, it's not that free-flowing energy. And, um, yeah, yeah it's... It is pretty incredible and I, I think I feel like working with you face to face or in like this the group setting the, the quantum event is going to be so much more powerful than working with you over the phone although like it's still been really powerful over the phone and you can mm. feel it via Skype or Messenger um, uh, Zoom I just feel yeah. like the, whole, the energy itself just being in that in that collective space of other other the other healers and you know where we are as well like just that it's really going to be next level absolutely yeah. absolutely and what a setting that you found for it and what an opportunity for people to just to really drop in you know like we've got the collective consciousness of all those people coming together in nature with beautiful clean amazing food cooked for them that's going to support them and then, you know, I mean, personally, I love working in a group setting. I love the working with group energy. Yeah. And it's like, for me, it's all about waking up the fire in people, waking up the places that are dormant, you know, like there's a sleeping giant sitting in everyone. And sometimes you just need to knock at the door. And sometimes you need to just set, a, set, set them a light, so to speak, so wake that passion up, get them connected into their bodies, reset their nervous system and just l allow them to realize that there are other possibilities. They don't have to live in struggle and fear um, and lack consciousness that they can actually come from a place where life brings you everything and you go into the flow and you, you connect with your passions. Yeah. 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 And I think um, access consciousness, one of their big sayings is all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. Yeah, and exactly. <laughs> Because who doesn't want life to be easy and flowing and joyful? You know, because exactly. in that space, and I've got goosebumps now. Just <laughs> when we're living in that space, you know, everyone, you're happy, you're flourishing, you're healthy. Like yeah. I think people often forget and underestimate how powerful the mind is, and how powerful like the mind affects you know, the rest of us and the food we eat as well, how that has an impact on our body and the products that we use. Um, all of those things can just add extra pressures. And if, you know, some of these things aren't flowing freely and, you know, we're not conscious enough to sort of go, oh, when I eat this food, it really doesn't agree with me. Like you don't have mm. to be allergic to it or whatever, but it just it, it affects your body. Like I know mm. that myself with gluten and wheat and dairy. Mm. My children are becoming aware enough now to go, oh, when I eat those foods, I don't feel good. So yeah. for alternatives and being open to that. And, I, you know, I think that's the weekend is all about how can we educate ourselves more so that we can make better decisions from a conscious space within ourselves. So um, I think that's what I just, you know, aside from what you can bring and, help people move through like i really feel like whoever comes is is going to to experience some movement and some change and because there's so many different ways that we're going to be embodying that over the course of the weekend um absolutely can you tell us about how how you work and like what what people might experience through doing a group experience with you <laughs> yeah sure um uh, sometimes it's hard to explain because it's very, very in the moment, but there, it, it kind of, when I work, I, I guess I kind of go into a light channeling space. I'm not going out and sort of going out of my body, but I'm just, it's it almost just like a tap, a tap opens and the energy flows. And in, 
in the process, we could be doing anything from getting everyone up and moving their bodies in new ways, getting everyone to make sound, getting everyone to release specific beliefs. So one of the key things about the work is, is that I pick up psychically the beliefs that are sitting there with the individuals or with the group. So often there's kind of core beliefs that are held in our society, like money is evil or um, have to work you, know, really you have to work really hard and you know to have things work out in your life and then there's individual ones that people may have based on their conditioning but they tend to follow certain core patterns but the what happens in the work is I is that the energy will come through and find a way to find a gap where someone's belief is to open up a new space, help them either see that belief for what it is, release that belief from their energy field so they're no longer holding the density of that belief. And once the density of that belief is less and then they focus on something that they prefer, the energy starts flowing and all sorts of new opportunities open up. So between the sound, the energy clearings, you know, with access consciousness, we do lots of clearing statements that come through movement it's really basically designed to bring the whole system into a state of um more alignment greater flow greater alignment and reconnecting the cellular connections the nervous system so the, the work what fascinates me about this field that i'm in and there's others that are in it as well is is how we can reprogram the nervous system reprogram the whole system so that we we're retraining the nervous system to expect different. You know, you all see people that you meet people that, you know, they see the worst in every situation. You know, if they're in the supermarket and something's not in the aisle, it used to be, they want to complain to the people at the supermarket, that this used to be an aisle too. And everything is just, it's like in there, they're looking and we all have some of that where some area where we're looking for a problem, but it's like perpetually looking for and expecting a problem. You cannot find a solution or the magic in life when you're in that thing. So for me, it's about reconnecting that life is actually, there's a magic, there's an aliveness. Everything can be so much more alive and you can start receiving more abundance on every level mm -hmm. uh, externally as well. Once you, yeah. once you connect to that. So I think that's like really valid point. Like, sometimes we don't realize that internal dialect and how negative it is mm. and you know, that when we become more conscious and I think this is what I've learned through this experience of consciousness is that the more conscious I become, the more aware of that internal dialect I am. Yeah. You're able to catch yourself out much faster and, you know, change it really quickly instead of, something bad happens in the morning and just being like, Oh, today's going to be a horrible day. Yeah. <laughs> It is a horrible day. <laughs> it's a horrible day. But I mean, you know, yes, <clears throat> being human and having a human experience is testing at times. Exactly. I feel like through those moments of when you're having testing times, when you can really drop into so quickly, oh, what's happening for me right now? How can I, what's the solution here? Does it serve me to hold on to this? If not, yeah. let it go and move forward instead of dwelling and, you know, that creates more suffering and you know why why would you want to continue to suffer from in day to day when you have the choice to to to, to live and experience differently but exactly it comes from that consciousness and it comes from that awareness to be able to drop <laughs> and continuing to do this work and surrounding myself with people like you and all of the people that are on the retreat and you'll t yeah. I think people will find is they'll end up having this like a community community of like-minded people so yeah. It might not be right right there where we are yet, but this is why we're creating something like this, right? So to help people move from where they are because they to, know they want better, to do better. To yeah. Better. Yeah. Ex exactly. And my sense, my feeling is that people can shift a lot quicker than the way that, it, you know, that's viewed that it takes like 10 years to kind of clear a pattern. I feel that with a lot of the work coming through at the moment, um, that things can shift a lot more quickly, yeah. like um, that we don't need to stay kind of, we don't need to make the story wrong. It's not about wrong, but just continually dwelling on the story of what you don't like and trying to fix it is the old way. Yeah. And I think it's, that's the old yeah. conventional therapies, which yeah. 
place, but I think conventional therapy was you sit down, you talk about your problems, you talk it. Through, yeah. But then it's you're just continuously rehashing yeah. that emotion and that feeling, and then you kind of generally walk away and you don't feel much better. Yeah, you might feel hurt and validated, but you just rehashed all of that again inside of yourself. And I think that's exactly. what I love so much about this energy work is it's all still there. It's all still relevant. The crux of what that issue is comes through and yeah. you really just get in there and like blow it apart so that that particular thing is no longer an issue. And I find through like, we have different variations of the same thing that yeah. all combined on each other. So, you know, I, I know I have moments where I'm like, okay, I need to do something today. I don't know what it is. I don't know who it is. And I reach out to my people and like, usually someone can fit me and I'm like, oh, that's yeah. better. I'm glad. <laughs> I through another variation of, of what was similar, but I haven't had to sit there and talk about, you know, and rehash whatever it was that was um, causing, you know, me that discomfort in my mind or in my body or, or whatever it was. So absolutely. I agree with you i think that's the i think this is the way of the future in the way of us helping ourselves and you know i think also we're just being really called to sort of step up as a spiritual as a as spiritual beings you know and be more aligned with who we really are um yeah it's yeah. such an exciting amazing time and i know a lot of people say it's a terrible time and that is one viewpoint like as in all viewpoints are valid you know but you do experience what your viewpoint is. And yes, there's a lot of intense stuff coming up for people, but it's also a time of such intense momentum and such intense light coming into the planet for transformation, yeah. for yeah. manifestation. So. Yeah. And if you're really, if you're ready to make the change, I think that's what it comes down to. Like for yeah. those people that are seeking, but don't know, yet know what that looks like or how to find the answers. Yeah. I think for me why we created this event so that yeah. you're somebody that knows there's more on offer for you that um life can be better but yeah. you don't necessarily know how to really step into what that looks like and i really feel like the quantum event is going to enable people to yeah. do that because we're working on it from so many different angles um you know and also trying to um, create tools that people can walk away with so that the year moving ahead is really positive and lucrative for them on whatever it is exactly and another thing i just wanted to, to share is um lyndall is that and because i feel that it's you know with the amazing people you brought together for this event and and um people coming along that there's an amazing uh you know with the events that i run people end up being friends for life from doing you know the previous program that I ran and I feel it's the same with this you know it's an opportunity to connect and um, you know connect as friends and connect as in networking in your own business you know from a place of um, you know an organic place and an effortless place and coming from the heart but there is these opportunities so it, it kind of goes beyond it's it's everything that we're all doing individually but it also goes beyond that into this collective possibility and I'm, I'm actually really glad you brought that up because I feel like that's what I've been put here to do is to be that network of community. Mm. I didn't really understand what that was for a long time, but everything about my business is all about connection and about connecting and making people feel connected. And yeah. wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever your stature, you are a part of this community. So I really do feel like that's something that we've all been missing. Like we're not meant to be living in this isolated space. We are meant to be community and looking after one another and helping Absolutely. life. So um, I'm, you know, thank you for, for acknowledging that because I, I, I believe that also. So, yeah. So I think, you know, unless there's anything else particularly you want to add, I feel like that's sort of covered who you are and yeah. hopefully we have some people jump on. They haven't, we haven't had any lives, but uh, maybe we'll get some people jump in, um, you know, and asking any questions. Mm -hmm. so if they do, I think I have tagged you as well. If yeah, I'll, I'll go through and answer any of the questions that they have for me personally, yeah. Yeah. And That'd be great. What's great about it is that it will be, you'll be having group sessions, but there will be an opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one with either yourself or another facilitator or continue to work with you via Absolutely. Um, afterwards if, you know, you really, they really feel the connection with you. So thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely.
for your time. Thanks, Lyndall. <laughs> always and yeah. wait for this event to kick off and do some massive transformation for us all sounds good i'm looking so forward hey thanks for having me on and um have an amazing day Woo <laughs> see ya Woo see ya <laughs>